make sure that the landing gear safety devices are in position as well as the wheels clocks. Open, safety and tag the TPIS and the brake fan circuit breaker. Put warning notices on the free fall control handle and on the landing gear control lever. Set the parking brake to off. Make sure that the pressure is off and the brake fan push button is set to off. Put the jack in position. Make sure that the dome correctly engages. Lift the landing gear. Fully deflate the tire if it must be changed. Remove the guard assembly attached by means of six screws. Remove the lock wire. Insert a tool to lock the impeller and unscrew the nut. Remove the impeller. Remove the shroud fixed by two screws. Disconnect the TPIS sensor connector from the rotating transformer. Note that the TPIS sensor must be removed from the wheel if it is changed. Remove the V-clamp and the shroud support. Discard the cotter pins. Loosen and remove the two locking bolts. Loosen the wheel nut using the torque adapter and remove it. Install the properly greased protection tool. Using a specific tool, remove the wheel. Disconnect the self-sealing couplings. Disconnect the brake temperature sensor. Using an adapter, loosen and remove the tree, nuts and washers.
The protective tool being installed on the axle, remove the wheel. Remove the protective tool, clean and grease the axle. The protective tool being fitted, install the brake unit. Make sure that the studs engage correctly on the axle. Install the three washers and nuts. Adjust the torque meter value and torque the three nuts. Connect the brake temperature sensor. Reconnect the self-sealing couplings. Remove the protection devices. Make sure that the driving keys on the brake rotor are correctly aligned. The axle protective tool being fitted, install the wheel with the tool. Remove the protection device. Install the axle nut. Adjust the torque meter to the pre-torque value and apply it to the nut while turning the wheel. Prevent the rotation of the wheel and loosen the nut. Adjust the torque meter to the correct torque value. Torque the axle nut. Tighten it until the holes in the nut are aligned with the holes in the axle. Install the locking nuts with the head of the screws facing the axle. Fit the washers and the nuts. Tighten the nut. Safety the locking nuts with split pins. Install the shroud support centered by a centering pin and tighten the V-clamp. Reconnect the TPIS sensor plug. Install the shroud with the two screws.
align the splined driving shaft with the impeller. Install the impeller, prevent its rotation, and tighten the nut. Safety the nut with lock wire. Install the guard on the tachometer drive shaft and fit it with the four screws. Make sure that the area is clean. Lower the landing gear, the tire pressure being previously checked and adjusted. The jack from the landing gear dome. In the cockpit, remove the tags and close the circuit breakers. Select the ECAM hydraulic page. Pressurize the green hydraulic system. Press the braking pedals. Check the forward coupling for any leakage. Apply the parking brake and check the pressure on the triple gauge indicator. Check the rear coupling for any leakage. Depressurize the hydraulic systems. Select the ECAM wheels page. Check the brake temperature and tire pressure for correct indication. Select the brake fans on. Check the brake fans for correct operation. Select the brake fans off and remove the warning notices.